It has been literal months since I've been able to play Crow at a normal trophy range, which is like outside of 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 trophy matchmaking. Normal to me is like 600 to 800 or 900, but anything above that is too sweaty. But as you can see, for the purpose of pushing his mastery, I dropped him all the way down to 600. The rank 35 is out of the window, not happening, but we're actually going to have fun playing this game as Crow for the first time in a while. Maybe 600 was too low, but it's too late. I can push him back up pretty easily. That said, today, I'm going to see how much the, all this pushing with Crow improved my ability to play Crow, because I don't know how easy it's going to be now. I'm used to fighting extremely sweaty players as Crow, so when I go a step back, is it still going to be hard, or is it going to be like super easy? Let's find out. How easy is this brawler for me now? If you like Crow, then subscribe to the channel, and if you're going to buy anything in a Supercell game, then use code NUBS. It helps me, and it helps my cats, and let's go. One thing I actually need to do in this map is swap out one of my brawler's gears to the vision gear or all of them. I think Crow is fine. I don't think you need it with Crow. Gene would be really good with the vision gear. We're also fighting another Crow, so that's that's cool. I hit him first. Let's go, baby. Now I'm going to slow him. What are you going to do now, buddy? What are you going to do now? I actually just win this if I W key you. And you're dead. Crow's auto aim is insane. Like, that's something I noticed from him for like the longest while is you can auto aim people from so far away. Sometimes I don't even bother doing it, but it is something that you can do. Like, you can auto aim with Crow from such long distances and it still hits. Like that. I'm pretty sure he was full on running away that whole time and it still hit him with the auto aim. It's so nuts. I could just use all three of my slow gadgets. He's so good in duels. One slow gadget equals one kill, and then you're done. That's it. You just need one per kill. Despite getting nerfed like four times, this gadget is still top five, I swear. Hey, Spike, what if I just slowed you? Oh, wow, you got a life plant there? Well, guess what? Oh, you got another one? Oh, wait, I'm just not gonna kill it. And you're dead. Let's go, baby. I love that Crow is actually like meta now. He's like top three in the entire game. Who am I battling? A B, the number one brawler in the game, according to Kairos's tier list. And according to that same tier list, I am just below B. But yeah, B is crazily versatile. Like she can one shot me right now if I don't heal up. Okay, well, you wasted your- ah! All it takes is two hits and I'm dead. It's so scary, but this guy loves wasting his charge shots. He's good at hitting the first one and then just misses both of the charge shots immediately. There we go. We got the slow and she should just be dead. Mythic gear. Yes! This mythic gear is also insane. I'm really glad that they gave Crow, like, one of the first mythic gears. I was expecting him to be left in the dust because when gadgets and stuff were being released, he was always, like, one of the last ones to get stuff. Is he healing with his super? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, I was gonna try to slow him. Whoa! Whoa! No! Curveball! I should have remembered to put the thingy thingy on Gene, but I do not have the vision gear. At least I can work on getting my nifty little super, and then if I can hit that, then we might be able to straight up kill him. Okay, come here. Come here. You're dead. Ha! <laughs> it's so good. Yo, Gray, what are you gonna do about this, buddy? What are you gonna do? I have so much range. This is why I should have vision gear on Gene. Of all of my brawlers, it should be on Gene, because these bushes are so annoying, but as soon as you get a Gene vision gear, they the bushes don't matter. They don't exist anymore anymore because you can always hit them with this because there's zero walls okay i need to regen some ammo real quick and then i want my super gray are you listening i want my super give it to me and die get out of here oh oh i almost died put the vision gear on put it on right now nubby wubby put it on boom there we go who are we battling another spike i'm seeing a pattern here a lot of spikes are being played oh that guy has the, the same pin as me spike is also one of crow's like best counters which kind of sucks that he's so prominent in this map but i'm confident that we can do something I just have to not walk straight into his shots every single time like I was doing before on accident. Okay, I activated his life plan. I'm kind of happy about that. Shoot it at me, buddy. Shoot it at me. Shoot your shots. Whoa! Curveball! Curveball! Okay, this is actually a great angle for him to be attacking me at, because, like, look at this. I can just dodge all the curveballs. One, two, three. And... Oh! He's dead. He didn't want to use two gadgets, but I did. I'll save my super for Edgar, actually, and then I can use this slow on the Colt, probably. Hopefully. Uh... <laughs> What is this fight? What is this? He's smashing auto aim. All right, there we go. That was the easiest fight of my life. And now, if the Edgar decides that he wants to jump on me, I just have my super to get away with. Is he camping? He's probably camping. There he is. Hey, Edgar. I don't know if this is a very good fight for you, bro. Wow, nice shield. Insano style. That was a, that was an insane shield, bro. Oh, look at these shots. Oh, boy. Let's go. He's going to poison to death. That's such a bad matchup. Now I know that I'm getting almost no mastery by doing this. I just want to have fun for a day before I start my grind, which won't be much of a grind. It's just going to be me playing him more often than any other brawler. Like, I'm not going to push, like, 
eight hours a day. I just can't do that. Ow. Wait, 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 wait. You can do big damage, Mr. RT. I didn't really ever fight RT as Crow yet. I don't know how this matchup is. Okay, I slowed him. And he's struggling to hit shots because they're so thin. Yes, baby. Let's go. Let's go. He can't hit a single shot. And he's dead. The burst. The versatility. Crow is insane. And for Meg, I should be able to just jump straight on her, I think. Come here, Meg. Come here. And you're dead. She got the spike super. That doesn't matter very much. Of course, we're seeing another spike. I don't think there's been one match where there hasn't been a spike. It's kind of a wacko mode, bro. Curveball. Oh, oh no. Curveball. Cool. Curve. Ball. Oh, wow. He threw life point out that early, huh? Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Slow him. Slow him, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. He's dead. No. Dude, if one more dagger hit him, he was gone. Spike, can you stop being everywhere in this map? At this point, all I need is better poke than him. He's probably, yeah, he's got more life points. That's got to be his last one, though. He's so aggressive. Get out of here, Spike. Die. Yo. This guy isn't playing Spike. Let's go, baby. I actually like the Carl matchup because once you hit him with a slow gadget, his shots are doo-doo dog water because he can't really direct them very well at that point. And there we go. Are you going to use a gadget to get away? What do you have? What do you have, buddy? What do you got? And you are... <sighs> I should have shot him again, dude. Now we have to fight Bell, a sniper. This could actually go terribly if I get hit by three shots at once. And she's slow. I'm just going to kill her. Dead. The rare case where you actually want to like jump in with a crow super. I guess in duels, it's better for you to do that. In 3v3s though, you almost like never want to do that. The only time you want to do that is if you can like clean up two kills at once and hopefully not die in the process. But you can also like kamikaze if you're going to kill like their entire team, then you can do that. But most of the time, it's not even good to like hail Mary your super with crow. All right. Is there a spike? Nope. We gotta fight another sniper though. Piper might have the recipe where she can hit me once, hit the gadget, hit me again, and bruh, I'm dead. What? Whoa, do you have a gadget? Let me see you. You do, you do, you do. I'm scared. Okay, get slowed. Get slowed. Yes. Let's go. Die. One more shot and you're gone. No. Oh, I don't think she has the homemade recipe. I think she's got the other one. Good thing I'm never getting close to you. Another long range brawler. That's okay. Crow's range is actually pretty deceptively long. And now that I mentioned that, Crow has actually gotten so many range nerfs in the past. By so many, I think I think there was more than one. But a range nerf is like a huge nerf. So throughout Crow's life, there were multiple times where I was like, wow, dude, this guy's getting hammered with like the worst nerf. Okay, Bonnie. Okay, okay, okay. Just get slow. Just get slow. It's over. You're not going to get your super back in time. Just die. Die to the poison. I'm glad I chose this brawler to main because he's so versatile now. At some points, he wasn't versatile at all. But look at him go now. He's crazy. He can anti-heal. He has a good range. He has poison to keep them from healing. So he has anti-heal in multiple ways. Slow gadget's good. You can build a tank build it's just pretty good i just don't think that this is a very good matchup for me though look at how far away he is and he can still hit me this is why i picked gene as my secondary i just gotta hit him once and then slow him and then i can like reliably do something to him come on get hit your range is insane okay 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 if i just sit over here and like never mind i'm not even gonna try he's gonna gadget me though no uh oh boy Yes! I also remove his damage with my star power. It's insane. He only hit me for like 1,000 there. You know what's kind of funny? You can get mastery on brawlers that you're not even playing. Like, I haven't touched a Gene or Piper in this match, and I'm still getting their mastery. That's kind of broken. Anyway, if you're excited to see more Crow content, then drop a like on the video or leave a comment. Let me know your support for the Crow, because I'm excited to finally play him more consistently. I can include him in challenges now. Again, it's been so long since I've been able to do that, because I wanted to hold him at this high trophy count in case I ever decided to push again. So then if I did a challenge, it would be terrible. But now that I don't care at all, we're good. I'm just excited to be able to play my favorite brawler again. It's been so long. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a good night.